What's up, everybody? I got Taylor Martin here. Hey, what's up? Taylor's the host of Best Damn EDC. If you are in the EDC world, you probably have seen him around somewhere. He's got loads and loads of cool stuff, and he teaches you how to build an epic carry. And that's a great place to start a treasure hunt. Okay, let's do it. So I'm starting, I'm looking for an EDC fixed blade. Where are yeah. you gonna send me? Vero, the Vero Axon fixed blade. It's really sick, brand new, and it's hot. All right, let's go check it out. Hopefully they still have some. All right, we're here at the Vero booth. Joseph, good to see you. Taylor Martin said, well, we asked him what the best EDC fixed blade of the show is, and he told us the Axon. It's a smart guy, I tell you. Tell me about it. Sure, so uh, I wanted a fixed blade that I can carry on me every day. I wanted an EDC fixed blade. Mm -hmm. So what I designed was, the Axon's a very popular model of ours. Mm -hmm. The blade shape is perfect for EDC, cutting through boxes, scoring. Uh-huh. But I wanted to be able to carry it easily. So I designed it so that I have a pocket sheath with a pocket clip on it. And the idea here is that now you can EDC your fixed blade. And in classic Vero fashion, it's dead sexy. Thank you very much, <laughs> I try. Got a coin collection, I'm looking to pick up a cool coin. Where am I going? Okay, my favorite coin is actually not really a coin, it's a pog slammer. A lot of people probably don't know what that is, it is from the 90s, uh, it's a plastic coin that you use to play a game called Pogs. And Jack Wolf Knives is including one in his tins. With okay. All his knives, and I absolutely love it. All right, I'll go check it out. Thanks, Joseph. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. So, Joseph just sent us to Jack Wolf to talk about Pog Slammers. Pogs was a game that was popular in the 90s, but it's really about collecting these cardboard discs with funky artwork. All our knives. Come with one, features the artwork from our packaging. So listen, I'm in the market for a high-end button lock flipper. And where, where do I find it? Well, you gotta go to ProTech, man. Those guys in California, they're killing it. All right, let's check it out. Thanks. Right. Thank you. Take it easy. Take care. All right, we're here at the ProTech booth and Ben from Jack Wolf said that this is the place to find a button lock flipper. What you got? He came to America's Pocket Knife right here. So the Malibu Flipper has been our best-selling knife for three years straight. Here at Blade Show Atlanta, we have over 20 SKUs of Malibus. It's the most Malibus we've ever taken to any Blade Show ever. This is our titanium 3D contoured machine aluminum frame, hand-chosen abalone inlays, abalone matching button, a blue titanium backspacer with a matching titanium pocket clip, a Chad Nichols mine milled carbon mosaic Damascus, and just like any other Malibu, whether it's a Brotech Malibu, an aluminum Malibu, a bronze Malibu, it still has that buttery action to it as well. So good. It's such a good one. I suppose asking where to find the best button lock flipper is a bit of a dumb question these days. We make quite a few. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, well thank you so much. That's a beautiful knife. Such a pleasure. Yeah, but listen, I'm in the market for a high-end slip joint. What you got? Oh, that's tough. Probably tactile time. I'm taking it. All right, I'll go check it out. They got the rock wall or something. They got a few good ones over there. All right, we'll check it out. Thanks, Matt. It's a pleasure. All right, we're at the tactile booth with Mike. Michael. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you as well. Hey, so Matt from ProTech told us that this is a great place to find a high-end slip joint. Tell me about it. Yeah, so our Bayer slip joint is really special in a couple of ways. It's super lightweight and super thin, coming in at two ounces in titanium, and even less if you have it in Ultima or Micarta. It has a great walk and talk. You can probably hear that with this microphone. Like the walk and talk on this for how thin this is, is pretty next level. That half stop. Yeah, man. Uh, so speaking of slip joints, as a kid, I grew up at flea markets and I wheeled and dealed and slip joints with my dad. And I sit in the back of people's, people's trucks and I'd handle hundreds of eye brands, cases, and really cool old slip joints. Mm -hmm. uh, so us making a slip joint was really high on my list of a product we wanted to make. For us to get this walk and talk just right, took 21 iterations of the spring and blade and how they interact. We did it all in-house. Everything you see here is made by us, the hardware. The only thing that we don't make in this knife is the stop pin and the washers. And I got a question for you though. Sure. I'm looking for something really cool made of Damascus. So let's go to Timascus. Timascus is titanium okay. folded together. Okay. Really cool, gets really colorful. Uh, Jared Ozer at Superlative uh, and Ozer Knives, he made a really cool open bid that I think you'd really like checking out. All right, let's check it out. Thanks, Thanks sir. Michael. Have a great show. You as well. So we're here with Jared Ozer and Michael from Tactile Turn said that you have something really cool with Timascus in an open bid. What you got? For sure, I've got my, it's actually a prototype. Uh, it's called my, 
Quaddle Lockback Whittler. So it's a three-bladed knife based off of the traditional pattern of the Lockback Whittler. So you have the two slip joint blades and then this main blade is a locking blade that releases like that. You make some really good knives, I must confess. Thanks, guys. All closed up, Ooh. nice and tight inside of there. Yeah, what's the current bid on that thing? I think the current bid's around 5,500 right now. It's uh, a lot of money, Jerry. A little bit of time to go <laughs> before it's over. All right. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, but listen, we got a question for you. Sure. I'm looking for a really awesome double action out the front. Who makes one? I mean, how can you say anybody but Microtech? All right, let's go check it out. So Jared Ozer sent us here to the Microtech booth, and Ray's going to tell us about this Glycon. Hey, so this is the Glycon. So if you're familiar with the Glycon, this is a Marfion Custom. So this will be one of our custom knives. This is going to be the Hot Blue Damascus. It does have the ball bearing on it. You guys can see everything here that's on here. It is the Bertie Retfeld ball bearing Damascus with hefted black alloy, lactic acid overlay. But it's a great out the front. It does have that unique button that the Glycon has where it has the button on the top but you also have the button on the side of it. So you can do it that way. You can also pull the sides. You could fire it from one side, just a really smooth action. And with that hot blue Damascus, just really makes it pop. It's an absolutely gorgeous knife. It is, it is. What does one of these go for? Uh, this will go for a little over $3,500. Well worth it, I think. <laughs> yeah, it is for the customs. And when you get into the Marfion customs, you're gonna see a lot of the different, uh, the blade steels, the different, you know, bluing and everything else, a lot more titanium. So it's uh, it's really cool to see that in the Marfion Customs, they are quite popular. So anyway, next up we're looking up to find a bushcrafting knife, make some feather sticks. Got any recommendations? Yeah, uh, I think Tops was over there somewhere. Thank hey, thanks for helping us out, Ray. My pleasure. So Ray from Microtech sent us here to the Tops booth. Dylan, good to see you on another treasure hunt. Yeah, always a pleasure. Yeah, so we asked, what's a good knife for feather sticks? And he sent us here, what you got? So a great knife for feather sticks is our Rocky Mo. It's got just about a six and a half, six, six and a half inch blade, modified Scandi grind. So great for feather sticks, great for bushcrafting, great for all the above. Great camp knife, great all around blade. Uh, awesome. But definitely will make some short work of feather sticks. Looks like I got a bow drill divot in the handle too. Yes, it does. So don't, if you don't have a ferro rod, you can still make a fire. Absolutely, if you're into the, the primitive fires, yeah. So I'm looking for a great knife sharpener. Where can I find one? Great knife sharpener. Um, I would recommend WorkSharp. All right, we'll check it out. Thanks, right. Dylan. Good Appreciate to see you. Guys. Yeah, have a good one. All right, we're here with Kyle at the WorkSharp booth. George? Dylan over at Top said this is the place to find the best sharpener. He's Tell me right. about it. All right, so this is the Pro PA. Uh, you guys carry this right now. You're probably out of stock. We've been selling out of these things like crazy. So this is the newest sharpener from us. It's the big brother to the original Precision Adjust. Um, we've added a few improvements. Things that the community asked for is basically how this came to be. So you've got the digital angle indicator here. You're gonna get started sharpening. Set this, zero it out so you can get the exact angle you want. So we're gonna set that there, make sure that it gets to zero. There we go, zero that out. <laughs> set it, set it within a quarter degree of whatever angle you want it to be. You can get down to anywhere from 15 to 30 degrees. We'll say we're gonna do this one at 17. Once I get that set, I'm ready to start sharpening. You've got an abrasive set that goes from 220 320, 400, 600, 800 hone, all the way to a strop. When you go to sharpen, you just come in, make a few passes on one side until you form a burr. Once you have a burr, simply store your abrasive up there, rotate, sets you up for sharpening on the opposite side. Make sharpen really, sharpening really simple. We've also got accessories for doing small, small knives with our small knife table. And we've also got a large blade support to support the clamp that goes in underneath here for doing larger blades like kitchen knives. And what's nice about that is you can still sharpen, but when you go to rotate the knife, you saw that just tilts back, hit this, rotates back over for longer knives to give you the room you need, and you're good to go. So you can sharpen all the way down from small pen knives all the way up to your big kitchen knives all in one package. That's really awesome. We got one in the office and we're all fighting over it. Right on, <laughs> I'll bet you are. Yeah, well, this is great. Yeah. So I got a question for you though. Yeah. Who's got the fidgetiest knife around here? Probably Demco. Demco, yep. on my way. All right, buddy. Thanks, Kyle. Yep. All right, we're at the Demco booth with Andrew Demco himself. How are you? Doing great. Good. Hey, so WorkSharp said you got the fidgetiest knife around. What you got? So our shark lock is known to be very uh, fidget friendly and fun because of the lock. Basically, pull back and it shuts. Pull back and 
it shuts. I can do so that all day long. Opening, shutting, opening, flicking, dropping, flicking. Or most people just will do this. Actually, they just, <laughs> I don't, it's like the new spinner, you know? And I, I like to do like this and put some pressure on it and snap it shut. But, and typically I open with a flick and then shut like this. But some people, all day, on and on. So yeah, that's it. The shark block is very fidget, fidget friendly. That's super great. I gotta get me one of those one of these days. Yes, you do. Also, I'm looking for a cool kitchen knife. Who you gotta recommend? Well, this, this company here, Serene, I just bought this. You know why I bought it? I have a whole bunch of kitchen knives. I do not need any more, just like a lot of people here. But I know the guys, they're cool guys. I like the product. Um, it's Magna Cut, and I just wanted to support them and try out a kitchen knife made of Magna Cut. So check right. that out. We'll go check them out. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, guys. Good to see you. Thank you. All right, we're here at the Red Horse booth looking at Serene Knives. It is an absolute honor uh, when you have other <laughs> knife makers telling you that you have the you know, best kitchen knife, so God bless, Andrew. Uh, this is the Serene. It is made out of Magna Cut steel, CPM Magna Cut, uh, which as you guys have already extensively uh, you know, shown, and mm -hmm. it's pretty much an amazing steel. It's got the edge retention and toughness, of high carbon steel, and uh, amazing corrosion res resistance, rivaling that of most nitrogen-based steels. Belongs uh, right on a kitchen knife, in my opinion. Exactly, I, I swear Laren Thomas, the inventor of the steel, designed it for kitchen knives, because as soon as I read up on it, I was convinced that this is the steel for our kitchen knife. So we're using the top steel. Everything on this knife is 100% USA made and USA sourced. So everything down to the fasteners uh, are made in the, in the United States, uh, which is something we really want to do with this kitchen knife because I don't see it a whole lot in the culinary space. Uh, the handle material is Ultrex G10, uh, which is a rubberized G10. It just has amazing feel to it. It gets grippier the wetter it gets, uh, and it has the durability of G10. Uh, so it's something I really like. The knife is also CNC machined. So all the grantons, the chamfers on the choil here, uh, the chamfers on the spine, those are all CNC machined in. CNC machining hardened Magna Cut sounds like the worst. It, it is a nightmare. <laughs> it, it absolutely is. Uh, but it is well worth it. Um, and again, it's the mid-tech of kitchen knives is what I call it. Uh, because you get all the nice details and features of a custom-made uh, kitchen knife but not at the price. But I got a question for you. Sure. I just got a brand new Glock 19, straight okay. out of the box. Where can I get a knife to match it? I would go to Justin Lundquist and his new company, Delitus Knives. I'm probably slaughtering that pronunciation, uh, but because his new knife is sleek, like, a, like the Glock 19, very functional uh, and good for carry. All right, I'm on my way. Thanks, All Edward. Right. All right, well, we're here with Justin Lundquist, knife designing legend, good to see you. And the guy over at the Serene booth said that you've got a great knife to match a Glock 19. What you got? <laughs> I've got the uh, new prototype, the collaboration with me and Ethnic Knives, and uh, our new company is called Daedalus Knife Co. Daedalus. Yep, Daedalus Knife Co. Wondering how to say that a minute ago, but now I know. There you go. So this is a front flipper. The inspiration was the Remington 1306. Um, I mean, it's obviously not exactly, but that was the inspiration. So we wanted to kind of take that classic look and uh, do a little modern touches to it. So it's got front flipper. You can also middle finger flick it from the fuller, and that's kind of the modern touch. Mm -hmm. We've got hard anodized aluminum pivot collar, hard anodized aluminum backspacer, so you got that nice beautiful sheen instead of being a flat G10. Got the hidden lanyard pin, ambidextrous wire clip that you can is uh, reversible. But the way we've done the design is there's no grooves that are cut left when you flip from one side to the other. I like to see it. And uh, we're going to do a handful of different colors. We're actually probably going to lose the G10 and we're going to do hard anodized scales. All so right. it'll have the nice sheen on uh, the scales as well. And it'll be a little bit slicker, so this won't be a pocket shredder. For anybody who's sitting there thinking, that's going to shred the pockets, we've got to take care of that. So uh, yeah, they turned out really awesome. We're working with uh, Concept Knives. And uh, Joyce at Concept has been my longest running contact in the knife industry, so I'm super excited to work with her. Uh, she's been a contact of mine in the industry for, I think, eight years at this point. And uh, she was my contact for the Feist Front Flipper. So everyone who knows me from the Feist, uh, Joyce was the one that worked with me on that when she was with Kaiser, and now she's with Concept. And uh, so they're doing an excellent job. 
They've got the, just really thin, beautiful grind on this with this really nice fine edge. They've just done an extremely good job on this grind. It's simple, it's effective, reliable. Dare I would say, perfection. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. Thank you. But I got a question for you. Okay. I'm looking for a budget folder. What you got? You just got a uh, I would say Civivi. All right, on my way. Thanks, right, Justin. Thank you. All right, we're here at the Sencut We Civivi booth with Kyle. What's up, George? How you doing, man? Doing great yourself. Dude. The show madness. Yes! Yeah, for real. I, <laughs> we had to wait in line forever to get to this booth. <laughs> yeah, so Justin Lundquist said this is a great place to get a budget folder. What you got? Okay, so I got two suggestions for you. Ready? Okay. Civivi Mini Paraxis. Guess the price on there. Okay, let me give you some information. D2 blade, okay. stainless steel liners, G10, ceramic cage ball bearings, and the deep carry pocket clip with the recessed screws. I'd guess 60 bucks. $30. Are you kidding? There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. 30 bucks for your mini Paraxis. And you're using, I gotta remember, the D2, like I said, the D2 blade still. So, killer deal. That is a killer okay. deal. And I don't have one. I sold out first day yesterday mm -hmm. of the Senkut Serene. That's an aluminum button lock with D2 as well. All right. So, super clean. Aluminum, satin finish, and a black finish on some of the other models. I mean, you have the Qubit, right? That we barely came out with. Yeah, that one's been killing it this too. This clean aluminum feel to it. And the button locks work so great on the aluminum scales. All right, well, I got a question for you, Kyle. What's up, George? I, I didn't make it to the show. Where can I buy a knife online? You know you can go to Blade HQ. Awesome, thanks, Kyle. <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. I guess the treasure was within us all along. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the treasure hunt. See you on the next one. Hey, you walked the plank, I see. Only the cool people get to stay on the boat. <laughs> Dude, I love it. <laughs>